if your wireless card is not detected by Kali Linux, you need to go to the website of the manufacturer of your particular device and get that from there, especially if it hasn't been done with the VirtualBox editions. I've got a short tutorial here of how I'm going to install the wireless access card on my particular machine. So what I'm going to do is copy this and go to this particular git clone link and download that particular driver. Once that's been done, I need to go to a particular folder, which is the MT7601, so CD. And then I also want to list the, go to the source directory, SRC. So I type in the CD SRC to get to that folder. Within that folder, you will see that I have the make function, which now will make the, or compile the libraries that I require for Kali Linux. This is taking that particular file and compiling it so it can be used on my Kali Linux machine. And after that, I need to type in make install and that will install the drivers on my Kali Linux setup. This might take a little while. It just compiling the files and hopefully there are no errors. So if all goes smoothly, we'll be able to type the make install command shortly. So I'm going to give it a few minutes and make sure that all works. So this will enable my Kali Linux to be used via wireless so I can do some wireless hacking and things like that. So let's go in and type in, I need to make a directory for the wireless directory, but before that I need to make install. So let me type in make install to make sure that all is installed properly. So hopefully that all process is fine. Should take a short while and then all the drivers are installed correctly. Now I can make the directory, which is mk directory slash etc slash wireless to make the wireless directory. And then I go into cprt, this number that I've got here for my particular device and to that folder, to copy this particular file to that particular wireless folder. And once that's done, I'm gonna do the function called mod probe. Mod probe basically probes the devices to make sure everything is in place, everything is working, if there are any errors, and hopefully if I mod probe this device, everything should be fine. If there is a problem, it will report some error. So let's make sure the wireless card or wireless driver has been installed correctly on this Kali Linux machine. Let me type that in correctly and notice there's nothing that's come up. So let's go to iwconfig to make sure previously there was nothing listed for wireless. Ah, here we go. We've got RA0, which is between ETH0 and the loopback. So I do have the, the RA link has been set up correctly. So that is good news. So let's go to the, obviously it's working at 2.4 and working on 802.11N protocols. So let's just confirm that we have wireless connectivity. I go here and notice now it has Wi-Fi. So I will be able to do Wi-Fi hacking, Wi-Fi penetration testing, and things like that shortly. So we've confirmed that we had a wired connection, but now we're able to put in a Wi-Fi connection as well. So I just wanna go also to look at IF config. So let's just do that shortly and make sure that we see our devices all listed, the wired connection, the wireless connection as well as the loop pack device. So let me type in IF config and make sure that works. Here we go. So notice there's the 
wireless card listed here. So that means it's all set up. So we are enabled to do penetration testing and penetration hacking tests. So this is perfect. So let's just ping Google and make sure it is connecting through a wired connection for now. But everything seems to be working fine and we good to go. So in the next videos, we'll start doing the penetration testing and see how to configure Kali Linux perfectly to enable it to be used to start ethical hacking.